Deep in the heart of the dense Yucatan jungle lay the ancient ruins of the Mayan civilization. The ruins held secrets long forgotten, whispers of a time when gods walked amongst men. But this serene beauty was about to be shattered by a terror beyond imagination. Claire, a renowned archaeologist, had gathered a small team to uncover the mysteries hidden within the ruins. Her excitement mingled with unease as they ventured deeper into the labyrinthine corridors. Be careful where you step, Claire warned her team as they navigated the treacherous pathway beneath their feet. These ruins are thousands of years old and who knows what kind of traps lay in wait. Jack, a seasoned explorer, chimed in. Don't worry, Claire. We've been through worse. Remember the haunted temple in Tibet? This is a walk in the park compared to that. With each step they took, the air grew thicker, and an eeriness settled upon the ruins. Whispers danced in the wind, carrying tales of forgotten rituals and ancient curses. Suddenly, a blood-curdling scream echoed through the ruins, causing the team to halt in their tracks. They turned to find that one of their members had vanished. Where's Sarah? Claire's panicked voice broke the silence as she desperately searched for any sign of her comrade. I don't know, she was right behind me, Jack replied, his eyes scanning the shadows. This place gives me the creeps. And so, the tale of the Mayan ruins became etched into history, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who dared to challenge the unknown. It would forever be remembered as a place of terror and triumph, where the past whispered in every crumbling stone. Let's go home, Thomas said with a weary smile. I think we've had enough adventure for one lifetime. And so, they returned to civilization, forever changed by their harrowing experience. The Mayan ruins were left to rest, silenced by the weight of their secrets. Over time, rumors about the ruins and the team's incredible escapades spread like wildfire, captivating the imagination of curious souls all over the world. Claire became a legend in her own right, known as the courageous explorer who braved the horrors of the Mayan ruins. She modestly shared her story, inspiring many to pursue their own adventures. Jack made it his mission to uncover other forgotten treasures, but he would always remember the Mayan ruins as the place where he faced his worst nightmares and emerged victorious. Sarah found solace in writing, using her experiences to craft thrilling tales of adventure and danger. Her stories enthralled readers, capturing their imaginations as she once had been captivated by the Mayan ruins. Thomas, forever fascinated by the unknown, continued his work as an archaeologist. He dedicated himself to preserving history and learning from the mistakes of the past. As time passed, the Mayan ruins slowly recaptured the imagination of explorers and thrill-seekers alike. The allure of its secrets continued to beckon, but none would ever forget the terror it held. The jungle claimed the ruins once more, enveloping them in a shroud of mystery, leaving future generations to wonder what lay hidden beneath the thick foliage. With trembling hands, Claire raised the heart of Apuk towards the Guardian. The artifact reacted, emitting a blinding light that engulfed the entire chamber. In an instant, the skeletal figure disintegrated into ashes, with the remnants of its presence swiftly dissipating. The team let out a collective sigh of relief, basking in the triumph of their hard-fought victory. But their celebration was short-lived. The ground beneath them began to quake, causing the ruins to crumble around them. It was as if the Guardian's destruction had caused a cascading effect of disaster. We have to get out of here, now! Yelled Jack, urgency lacing his voice. They sprinted towards the exit, dodging falling debris and desperately searching for an escape route before the ruins devoured them whole. As they emerged from the collapsing ruins, they witnessed the final destruction. The once majestic Mayan ruins were reduced to nothing but rubble. The team fell to their knees, exhausted but grateful for their miraculous survival. The terror that haunted them was finally purged. Claire's heart swelled with mixed emotions. The ruins had held unimaginable horrors, but it was also a testament to the unfathomable resilience of the ancient Mayan civilization. We did it, she whispered, her voice brimming with pride. We uncovered the secrets that lay buried and put an end to a nightmare. The team nodded in agreement, their camaraderie stronger than ever. Together, they had faced their fears and triumphed. As they searched for an exit, Thomas stumbled upon an ancient text. Listen to this, he said excitedly. It says that the Guardian can be banished with a sacred artifact. The artifact, known as the Heart of Apuk, was said to have the power to dispel evil spirits. Armed with this newfound knowledge, 
The team resolved to find it. They embarked on a treacherous quest through the perilous jungle, fighting off snakes, insects, and their own growing sense of despair along the way. Days turned into nights, and nights turned into exhaustion. But their determination remained unyielding as they pushed forward, fueled by hope. Finally, they stumbled upon an ancient temple hidden deep within the forest. Its long-forgotten secrets awaited their discovery. Within the temple, they faced numerous trials and obstacles, but their unwavering resolve propelled them forward. At long last, they reached the innermost chamber, where the heart of Apuk lay dormant, its golden rays illuminating the room. Claire gingerly picked up the artifact, feeling its power pulsating through her fingertips. She knew that this was their only hope. Armed with the heart of Apuk, they made their way back to the Mayan ruins, determined to rid the world of the malevolent guardian once and for all. The ruins seemed different upon their return, as if the guardian sensed their purpose and awaited their arrival. As they continued their search, the ruins seemed to come alive. Strange symbols appeared on the walls, glowing ominously in the dim light, creating an eerie ambience. Do you think this place is haunted? Thomas, a young and skeptical archaeologist, scoffed. Ghosts and curses are just folklore. Before anyone could respond, a gust of wind extinguished their torches, plunging them into pitch darkness. The team huddled together, their hearts pounding in their chests. What was that? Whispered Clara, her voice laced with fear. Suddenly, a pair of glowing red eyes materialized in the darkness, causing the team to gasp in horror. The eyes inched closer, revealing a skeletal figure draped in tattered robes. It's the legendary Mayan guardian. Claire exclaimed, trying to steady her trembling voice. We need to find Sarah and get out of here. The team scattered, trying to escape the clutches of the Guardian. They stumbled through the ancient corridors, their fear serving as their guide. We're trapped. Cried Jack as they reached a dead end. We're done for. But Claire's determination remained unyielding. No, we won't give up. We need to find another way out. In the midst of their desperation, they heard Sarah's voice echoing from a passageway nearby. It led them to a hidden chamber adorned with gold and precious jewels. Sarah, pale and shaken, described how she had narrowly escaped the Guardian. Its touch was ice cold, and its grip was like a vice. We can't let it catch us, 